Welcome to Minecraft Circuits in Real Life. Alright, so let me just move this project aside just a little bit. These were um, uh, levers done in series. So what we're going to do in this session, oh, drag this around, uh, we're going to go back to our button and we're going to do buttons in series. So we're going to take this from having wired up our button. So what we need to do is get our um, ground in place. And I'm going to put the power all the way on the right hand side. Um, in fact, I'm going to swap this battery out because we had a um, little... One of the things that happens is that you can break these little tabs off and then sort of a, a thing we need to do is strip them and add another piece on. So like these are, these are fairly delicate, um, but anyway, I'm just going to switch to the other power supply. Uh, put this guy in. So let's see here. Da, da, da. Okay, there we are. Okay, so I want to see this button fire up, right? Because we can't. We want to be able to debug our circuit. We want all this stuff to work. So I'm going to take the positive end and put it in. So I've got my button in place. I'm pressing the button. Okay, cool. So just to review, I'll take the button off. So here we are. We've got our, our button. We've got our two loops of wire. The button's going to press down on that and make a connection. And if I just want to light up my circuit, I want one fully working circuit. Okay, cool. So we know that's working, but we got to put two buttons on here. So, I mean, we got one button on, so we're going to have to redo the circuit a little bit to fit more than one button. So I'm going to move my output more to the right. I'm going to take this wire, move it out of the way. And I'm going to actually take this whole wire out of place, and I'm going to take the positive and the positive of the LED and put them in. I'm going to build the circuit backwards. So now I'm going to connect this wire to the LED because we're overlapping in the row. See over here the row, we're overlapping, so this is now connected, so we connect, connect, connect. And now I need to have two buttons, because I want to wire up two buttons in series. So now we've got basically a one loop of wire and a button, the second loop of wire and a button, and that sort of button one. And then I have another button, two loops of wire, and when they cross, they connect, right? So let's get the first one in place this is the same position as previous time so you could leave that button in place if you want I want to make sure that you know we want everything nice and connected in the other thing to note is that these are these um, buttons can go in other directions but they go easiest in the correct direction and you can line them right up to each other press that down cool so now we've got two buttons and what we're going to do is we're going to wire in on this side and we're going to hook the two buttons in series so I'm going to actually jumper them over on the back side. So what's going to happen here, just exactly the way we did the levers, is I've got these rows of breadboard wires and I have a button connected here, a button connected here, but it's physically larger so I have to go to the third one and that's my other loop of wire. And then if I get my drawing here, I've got uh, one, two, one, two, and this is my third one, so the second, the other button will be here, so that, let's get that, and now I have my buttons, so I'm going to have, I'm going to wire up the negative in this side, and we're going to send the power positive out this side, so that's going to correspond to our various rows, and I'm going to do, I think I'm going to put a wire to jumper them together on the back side of this wire, so if I take one of these wires, I follow the middle and I look around carefully and I jumper that in and then I match and it's going to be on the opposite side so I jumper that in so now the two buttons are connected on the back side of each other and now I want to put the power in on the front so what what is happening here I have power going in, I have it jumped over, but I don't have the power yet going into the circuit. Now I can test the circuit for the LED, and that one's just fine. And so now I'm going to connect my, the circuit from the other, so I need one more wire, and I'm going to jump the output, and I can go from the front, or I can go from the back. If I go from the front here, I can just grab this, and I can just jump it right over to the resistor, and now I have it connected into the resistor. So if I press one button, nothing happens. I press the other button, nothing happens. Press both buttons and they fire up. 
So this is the very first step. This is what we had shown with our levers. If I have both buttons pressed, it turns on, but no other condition will actually make them fire up. So now, this is the first thing. We've got um, buttons and levers in series. They light up what we want, but what this does is this is our first sort of entry into digital logic. And what, what I mean by that is the logic of on and off. So I have a button one, and we can call it a button A. And then button A can be on or off, and I can have a button B. Let's just say this is the red button, and you're gonna have the yellow button, the red button, but we're going to have the A and B, and our output is actually going to be the LED over here. And I'm going to just use O for output for now. So I have the idea that the first button can be on, and the second button can be on, except off is like we're actually, if you see here, it's off, like our off, both are in the off position. So they're off, off, and I can press the second button, nothing's going to happen, but it's going to be true that our second button is on. I can also make it true that our next button is so off. So what we do is we're making a little table saying zero is false, one is true, and then I'm doing uh, the first button is tr true, the second button is false. So you can see it still doesn't turn on, but once I use one and one here, boom, they both fire up. So what happens is I can track the outputs. And so the zero and the zero, the zero, the one, and the one and the zero, are all false except for the one time both are pressed. So this is the sort of thing that you can use in game where you can use like pressure plates to open up doors. You have two people stand on a pressure plate, open the door up and let a third person go through. You can basically cause cooperation by creating scenarios and adding more things in place so that more buttons have to be pressed or more pressure plates have to be stood on to make that happen. But we really have our first entry with digital logic here. When things are in series, they have to be all true for the power to flow all the way through the circuit. And one of the symbols for this is like I have that negative side of my battery, and then I have the wire, and then I have a button, and I have a wire and a button, and they cause these gaps. And I'm going over to the positive side. So when I close each one of these, I finally have, here's my negative, and a complete connection from beginning to end to the other side. So that's how we can wire up our buttons, that's how they're wired in series, and that gives us our outputs. Let me do one final thing, which is that, so I use buttons here, but let me bring back over the, um, the levers, and the levers are going to behave exactly the same way. So right now they're both in the true position. And let me just get that a little bit. So since they're in the true position, there we go, it's on. So I'm going to flip these into the off, off position here. And as I flip each one, they won't turn on until both are true. So if I press both down, they're both true. So they follow the same logic that our two buttons followed. So two buttons and two switches all follow the same logic. If I take my full array of wires and, and, and my levers and do them all the way across for five, or if I take a bunch more buttons and I go all the way through, I can set it up so these all have to be pressed down for it to turn on. So that is buttons and levers in series. Uh, very first introduction to a truth table, and we're going to explore this a heck of a lot more uh, in the next uh, section of the workshop. Thank you.